Hello, this is a quick video to show off uh, Digger's integration with Microsplat. This is available on the Asset Store now, uh, so I'm going to show you how it works. So the first thing you probably want to do after you've installed the module and you've installed Digger is you can go to the Tools menu and there's a Setup Terrains under the Digger menu. This sets up the Digger system uh, for your terrain. And the next thing you're going to want to do is go to your Microsplat uh, material and you're going to want to turn on export digger shader and what this does is, is export a, an additional shader whenever you make a change uh, that is uh, specially for digger it has special code in it to allow painting on digger meshes and things like that uh, it will also set triplanar uh, to be on if you don't have it on because digger meshes require triplanar and so you have to run everything in triplanar mode so that all the texturing matches and the other thing it'll do uh, is that if you have uh, Unity version 2019.3, it'll use the new Unity hull system. But if you have an older version, then uh, you have to use my alpha hull module, and it'll set that to clip map. Uh, so that way it can cut into the terrain. And if for some reason you turn one of these off or something, it'll put a big warning here and ask you to fix it and give you a little fix it button that you can push. So hopefully that prevents any kind of confusion. And... So I like to push sync and refresh just to make sure everything's set up with Digger. And, uh, and we're in the Digger interface by selecting the Digger master object here. And uh, we are set to dig. So we can just start digging holes. And you'll notice that it's using the texture that I have selected in this texture browser here. I can choose a different texture. And then it's going to dig and you leave that texture behind. So that's pretty cool. Make a nice big hole here. And then uh, what I'm going to do is switch from dig mode to paint mode. And now what we can do is we can come into here and we can actually paint on the digger mesh if we want to. So if we decide we don't like the textures it's chosen, we can go ahead and paint those. And, uh, and this lets us really customize the, the geometry here um, and the paint job on it. Additionally, uh, I have wetness enabled because I have the wetness, uh, the streams module installed which has wetness. And I can come over here, and instead of painting texture, I can paint wetness. And so now, I can paint how wet this surface is. So if you want a stream in the bottom of your cave running through it, or you just want it to be wet because it's a cave, and it looks nice to have caves be kind of wet, uh, then you can do all of that. And um, there are some uh, minor limitations here. Um, the first one is that because of the way uh, the whole system has to work, um, it's vertex based underneath the hood. We can only handle 24 of the 32 possible textures that Microsplat supports. So you get the first 24 textures and then if you're using streams the next four um, channels are used for wetness streams, uh, sorry wetness, puddles, uh, streams, and lava. And if you don't use the streams module uh, then you get four more textures. So you can have up to 28 textures in the case where you're not using streams. Uh, so hopefully that's enough, you know, um, if you need those last couple textures, you can just move them into lower slots. Um, we can't actually fit enough information in the vertex interpolators uh, to support all 32. Um, but yeah, I really like the way this integration has come out. It lets you do more uh, with it than um, uh, any other integration out there. Uh, most of them don't let you paint. And um, I think it was worth the work to get that all in so that you can really have a complete package here. Um, it does work in um, the universal rendering pipeline currently. Uh, currently it does not support uh, HDRP. However, it uh, very well may in the future uh, when I get around to that. So by the time you watch this video, who knows, it might support it. Um, so yeah, hope you like it and uh, hope you do some amazing stuff with it. Please post some screenshots if you do. It's a really cool tool, and I'm really happy to have a really good integration with it. So, thank you very much.